already done my face I've um, applied foundation and I did my eyebrows so what's left to apply is my um, my finish powder some highlights and blush and we'll do that along the way I uh, will go ahead right now start out with my eyes doing the primer applying concealer to the base um, for the eyeshadow and then we'll just continue on with the rest and the concealer I'll be using today is one of my LA Girl Pro Concealer with the color Beautiful Bronze. Although it's the same color as my um, skin tone, I will still need to um, buff, buff it up with a, a an eyeshadow that's similar to the tone before I go ahead and apply my my pref my eyeshadow preference. So the palette we're using today is the um, Revolution. Um, one of the Revolution palette, the Reloaded Neutrals number three. And it looks like one of the um, palette that I would normally grab. I did already um, swab all of the colors and I put a picture of somewhere on the screen. And they were all buttery, creamy feel to them. And I just couldn't wait to come and play with it on camera. So right now, since I've already applied my concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and buff that with, um, let's go with this num this color here. I just killed one of my trays. So the color I'm gonna go ahead um, and buff onto the concealer or seal in the concealer on the lid is this color right here. Unfortunately, with this palette, there's no names to the there are no names to the colors, but on the back it does give the numbers. So it's 15 trays in this palette and I'm gonna go with this color right here, this one. And the next color I'm gonna go in with is ooh, this color right here, which is like a plum color. I'm gonna use this color all over the lid. Just giving a little definition on the crease somewhat matching the previous color that I have applied which I could see how it shows up here nicely on the crease. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that all around the lid blending blending is the name of the game don't want it to have any um, disconnection with the previous color. If you want a beautiful seamless finish to the whole look. So I'm adding on, um, on top of this color. It's buildable, it's not patchy or cakey as I'm adding more color to it. It's giving me more depth. And it's more concentrating as we go. 
And I'm gonna go back with the previous color that I started with on the edge, on the outer outer edge of the um, of the two, just so it doesn't overpower the previous color. So next we're gonna go add in our color to the lid, the mid lid. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one. My nail just um, butchered the whole tray as I was showing the palette off. And I guess, it's, well, whatever. So I'm just gonna go in with that color here onto the lid. Ooh. And this is without the warmth of my the, my fingertip or any damp brush. That's just the a dry brush showing off the color like that. Now let's see if we wet the brush, if we spray the brush, how much more is gonna show off. Just go in with my finger for some reason I always like to do that although this color does not need it bam that's a beautiful color and go back in with my crease brush just to blend the edge of that particular shimmery into the mat. I didn't put any more um, to the brush. We're just gonna go ahead and blend it. So perhaps with this color on the outer crease, let's see. It may not be any darker than let's use this color here let me use a smaller crease brush just to concentrate that color on the um I think I put a bit too much of that color and that color is just just wants to overpower everything all I wanted is a little depth on the outer crease but it's just went on taking all over the lid so I'm gonna go back on top of that color just to Mix it with the previous um, mauve color just to tone it down a little if it'll allow me to. And I'm gonna go back in with that previous lid color over it just to let it know who's the boss in this in this play. I'm tilting my head um, going back like this just so I could look down to give me room on my lid to put the um, the the shadow the color that I'm um, that I'm using on the lid rather than having my lid looking up and squeezing the shadow in between the wrinkles of the lid is just this just 
gives me a flat surface to to create what I need so here we have it I'm gonna do a little more blending and then we'll come back with the other eye done and the whole face glowing and 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 um, all finished then I'll let you guys know what I think of this beautiful palette uh, I already gave it away because I do love this palette and um, yeah we'll come back Putting on my lashes, my underlid, I had, I didn't complete on camera, but here it is now. What I did was the same um, crease color that I'd applied on the top lid, I go ahead and uh, use a small tip round brush to apply it underneath the light, the, um, the eyelid, to apply it underneath the eyelid, and then I used a, a golden color from that same palette this one here to put on my inner in my inner tear duct and now we're left with this beautiful glam look lips are made um, I use one of my matte lipstick as somewhat a liner and then I applied a, a lighter this light um, or neutral starfish lipstick color over it and this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills both lips both lips were by Anastasia Beverly Hills the darker one as the liner and then the starfish over the top for a much toned down lip color so here we have it face is all made ready to be to step out and um, and um, yeah hope you guys enjoy this look now with this palette this is one of my favorite from Re um, revolution makeup revolution palette and this one like I said was the reloaded um, neutrals 3 it comes with 15 um, shadows beautiful creamy um, eyeshadows here I do I did get to use this one here as a shimmer color on the mid lid and that one here on the inner tear duct as you guys could see excuse the hole here that was caused by my nail um, but as you guys could see when I swap on the pen it's just it's just like gives you a, a creamy finish you see here and also this one here beautiful beautiful pigmentation let's go ahead and um, try this one on top here you guys see here this is like a orangey brown I did not get to use that one on my lid but I will definitely go for it next time nice and beautiful so this is all loves i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like subscribe and put any type of comments below as far as um product i mean as far as um um constructive criticism for your girl for your girl and making sure these videos gets posted once a week every week all week non-stop thank you for watching bye